the rumor has finally been confirmed by the official account of Tekken. On Twitter, they announced 2 million fighters. That's 2 million copies sold. It says, thank you to all the players who have been ducking it out in Tekken 8. The King of Iron Fist tournament will keep growing with new exciting updates, the start of the TWT 2024, and so much more. Tekken 8 selling officially 2 million copies in one month is absolutely huge. We already did the song and dance when the person on Twitter uh, kind of made the little rumor announcement, but yes, it did so faster than Street Fighter. I'll, I'll put the screenshot on the screen so you guys can see. I can't remember off the top of my head, but Tekken 8 is beating both of those in terms of sales. And what's even crazier about this, well, before we dive deep into the numbers, let's read the tweet from the developers. They're giving some praise and some thanks michael murray says thank you to everyone for your support lots of exciting things coming this year can't wait to see the start of twt and see what people can do with the new game everyone feels this way everyone is dying to see a tournament them putting i don't want to get derailed but them putting evo japan all the way in april 27th to the 29th it just sucks, man. I wish it was a tournament like now, like a main global tournament. I know there's some stuff happening here in North America, here in Japan, here in, you know, EU. But I wanted to see something where all of these regions come together and we could see, like Michael Murray says, what the people can do in a new game. Nakatsu says, to all the Tekken fans around the world, thank you so much. We will do our best to make sure you continue to enjoy Tekken 8. So too many copies sold officially. There is no tweet from Harada, but he definitely was retweeting all of this. And we do have a news article where he was talking about the success. But first, let's stop by Yellow Motion. Yellow Motion put out this tweet and it gives us some really good information and really puts it into perspective how fast Tekken 8 is growing. Because a lot of people, like, if you were there at the start of Tekken 7, you know full and well the transformation. If you were there at the start of Tekken 7, just put yes or no. Everyone in the comment section, just comment yes or no if you were here at the start of Tekken 7. Because what Tekken 7 accomplished was magnificent. But where it started was kind of in a dark place. And it had to climb out to glory. And Tekken 8 is kind of reaping all of the rewards for it. Like, I do say this, right? No matter how much you hate the DLC, like Leroy, Fakamon, Kurimitsu, Lydia, and all that stuff, Tekken 8 wouldn't be what it is without Tekken 7 selling all of that DLC and whatnot, right? The developers, they really did reinvest all of that into Tekken 8, and now it's one of the best, like, as a um, product Tekken's ever made. In terms of gameplay, that's yet to be determined. But Yellow Motion tweets, it says, Tekken sales, it's official. Tekken 8 has surpassed 2 million copy sales worldwide. On its release date, January 26, 2024, it sold 1 million units globally. Within the first month, it reached a total of 2 million units outperforming Tekken 7. And once they start getting into tournaments, because tournaments is a big uh, thing for Tekken, they said how important that was in the growth of Tekken 7. So when the tournaments kick up, so will these sales really get going. And that's why I think it kind of sucks that they put it so far back because they can already be feeding off of that, uh, you know, tournament environment, you know, pumping it. But let's keep reading. It says, however, Tekken 7 is still alive. Tekken 7 is still alive and it's still the king of Tekken with the series currently having sold over 11.8 million copies worldwide. It's approaching the remarkable 12 million milestone very, very soon. Now, a question that a lot of people are asking after all of this is, can Tekken 8 outsell Tekken 7? And the reason why I would say yes is because one, the developers are planning to support this game for a very long time. So the same way Tekken 7 got a lot of support, Tekken 8 is also getting a lot of support. But the major difference I think is the starting point. Tekken 7 started at rock bottom. Tag 2 almost killed the franchise. It's true. I love the game, but it's true. Tag 2 almost killed the franchise and Tekken 7 had to uh, revive it. It climbed out of the ashes and became, you know, uh, reach the glory that Tekken once held. Now Tekken 8, here's why I think it's so different. Tekken 8 doesn't have to do no resurrections or reviving. 
all of that momentum that Tekken 7 created, Tekken 8 is taking that and running with it. You talk about 1 million copies day one, that's Tekken 7 we should be giving credit to. Tekken 8 is going to take all of that momentum and carry it all the way to what I believe is 13 million copies. The only thing that could stop Tekken 8 is itself. If they put a bunch of garbage DLC characters in the game, or if they riddle the shop with a bunch of garbage, that's the only thing that could really stop it, is them making bad decisions. But I don't think that's possible. This is Harada we're dealing with, Michael Murray we're dealing with. Yes, sometimes they make a little mistake here and there, we all do, but generally they're very sharp, they're very on point, and they're very fair with what they put in the game. Balancing is the number one thing to keep an eye out for. And taking a little bit of information from uh, news articles that I've seen also celebrating Tekken 8 selling uh, 2 million copies, there's also a lot of things in there just talking about how Tekken also has a lot of Guinness World Records. In August 2017, it went to Guinness World Record for longest lasting 3D video game fighting series. 21 years, today will make 180 days. They also have the longest lasting video game story. Once again, that will be 30 years and 100 days. We still are expecting them to do something massive in terms of celebrating the 30th anniversary. I know they're gonna add some free customizations uh, to the Tekken Lounge and all that stuff. You can customize your character and your player. But when we think celebrating the 30th anniversary, we think something greater, something more. And also in talking about something greater, something more, I've been getting a lot of questions about when will this update of the Tekken Lounge and all this stuff takes place. So I went back and got this screenshot from the Tekken Talk. The second update is scheduled for release late February or early March. So we're kind of in the ballpark where we should be hearing something very, very soon. It says update details and patch notes will be available the day before the update and the main update contents will be the in-game collaboration that's the giant billboard the 30th anniversary and all that stuff and then it also will be the new shop we've seen i think it was four outfits for your characters and then uh four outfits for your avatar and then also number three is the adjustments slash behavior properties for some characters now they are planning another tech and talk as well this one specifically says late march so i think this will be after the update and maybe they will talk about whether or not they need to do another one i don't know if they want to release eddie before evil japan or after but really they could do either way they could release his trailer during this uh tech and talk or they can release it after and show his trailer during evo japan either way it doesn't matter the only thing that does matter is you know a lot of people are expecting him to be busted and will you have a thousand leroy situation me personally i don't think so because you have a lot of other strong characters dragging off and stuff like that i don't think people will switch a character that they've been playing for three months to play a character that they've been playing for one month unless eddie is really ridiculous oh one final thing that i want to talk about um so in the video that I did yesterday, I believe I was talking about uh, how Street Fighter 6 is selling, uh, they're, they're doing their $2 million prize pool, right? They announced once again that they're doing $2 million again. They're doing it twice. And this just puts more pressure, I feel, on Tekken to also do the same. You don't have to do a two mil, but definitely a lot of people are asking for one mil first place, but I think it's necessary, bro. They said so many times how important tournaments are, so put the money where your mouth is. When they do actually announce the prize, they probably will do it in the next Tekken talk. It should be something around the ballpark of what Street Fighter VI is doing. Harada said it himself, Bandai Namco is a bigger company than Capcom. If they really wanted to, they can crush them in terms of marketing. So let's see that. Let's see a 2 million or something like that prize pool for Tekken 8. 